Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Lowkey. We are back with another Apex Legends video. Finally. Man, it's been a while not uploading videos because I was in camping. Anyway guys, you know this season is a great season. I actually like this season. The only thing I don't like about this season is the R99 nerf, which is really bad. Because I don't like... I don't understand why they nerfed this weapon, bro. It's like one of my very good weapons and only 17 bullets like really but it still can beam you know it still can do stuff but i feel like this nerf really hits the armor for most people in this video we're gonna talk about guys the best settings in season 18 right in this season so the best settings in this season guys let's talk about them what are the best settings in this season in Apex Legends? okay let's go straight guys without wasting your time by the, by the way guys remember that these settings are my personal uh, preference so i feel like these settings i found out personally after testing many settings and i feel like they work the most with the recall patterns of each weapon after the nerf and buffs so i feel like everything is uh, just my test so if you guys really don't believe me or believe my video then you can just skip the video but if you guys want to want the uh, good new settings that are going to help you uh, to have a very good input and all that and blah 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 and a good screen then yes follow these settings let's go man all right we're gonna start with the gameplay settings guys the most important ones blah 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 uh, not important not the most important ones but anyway we go the interact from style compact button hands hot uh, button hands off also damage feed, uh, damage feedback x with shield icon damage numbers both now the reason why we put x with shield icon is just we it's satisfying, all right. It's just satisfying to show numbers and shields and all at the same time. I also damage numbers both because it's also satisfying. That's only preference. Now ping opacity faded. I always recommend faded because when you ping, you need to see the enemies and like that. So this ping right here is very important. So when you ping like that, uh, I can't ping. Okay, anyway, wait, what the heck? I can't ping anymore. Okay, here we go. So when you ping like that, you don't want to see the enemy. It doesn't take off the screen. So faded is the most important one. You should put this on faded. Minimap rotation on because it's just important I feel like to see the map when you're rotating. I don't know. But auto sprint is on. Weapon auto cycle empty is off. These are very important to change by the way. So off here and on here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna just skip all this right here guys because it's really not that much. Now we're gonna talk about reticle, alright? Reticle I use white. I feel white is the best reticle in my opinion. White is just the best when you aim. It's just white because it's like any color there is on the screen doesn't matter. The white one is just gonna be on, so you can see that it's white. Blah blah blah. Okay, laser sight uh, right here. I I put the green because the reason I put green, I feel it's just laser. So laser as green is just feeling good, and especially because I play with octane by the way. So when I, you see octane green, green everywhere, green and the weapon look like green and your skin green and everything green green so green 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 so everything because it's green then i put the laser green that's the only reason just to make my gameplay satisfying and by the way i'm gonna be uploading gameplay soon don't worry guys this is my channel did not die yet okay don't worry about that okay now we finished with all this right here now we're gonna go with the color blind of course i put this off i don't care about this at all now we're gonna talk about controller button layout the control button layout is the same customized i never changed it i don't want to change it at all i feel like this is the best one my opinion uh, you jump with L2, you crush with R3, you uh, you reload, interact, and all with R2. You aim with L1, you shoot with R1. So yeah, it feels like it's scuff if you don't have a scuff. Now here is the uh, everything is just normal. Crash button toggle. I don't like hold using hold. Trigger that is unknown. Curve speed just a little bit high. Now we're gonna go to the actual settings, which is the LCs. All right, guys. We are here in the ALCs. Now most of the people will be noticing, oh my god, I know these settings. Well, yeah, you do know. So these are the best Apex Legends Season 18 settings. And I'm going to explain exactly why these I feel very, like, honestly the best. Uh, the only thing you want to change here is 4. Okay, so let's go. Now, we start with 3% dead zone, 2% auto threshold, 4 response group. This is a very balanced settings. Close to linear. And very good to control at the same time so it's not raw input it's not really hard to use it's very easy and simple and it also has no recoil at all so if when you play like that you can be like oh my god my aim is just very good and my fight is very good and everything feels very easy to use uh, so yeah for response curve two three percent that zone and two percent is just my favorite i feel like it's the best 
Now, coming to operatic settings, I, I don't use this at all. You can use it if you want. You can just put on the 2x right here. Two more, but I don't use it. I'm going to show you why I don't use it. Don't worry. We don't need to use this because we have a secret right here. Uh, the yaw speed, MP speed 500, 350. Now, most people will tell me, why you don't put this on 500? Because I feel my opinion, if you have this on 500, the hip fire is not going to be good. The hip fire is just going to be so bad because you don't need a very high up and downs. We don't need that. Why do we, I need that, bro? Just need it a little bit high just to make sure that you control the recoil of the hip fire, which is fine. So 350 is fine. I can control the recoil with it, which is fine. But I use the out speed, which is turn left and right maximum because I want to turn on. So if there's an enemy behind me, I want to turn on really fast. Okay, That's the only reason I use this on maximum. Other than that, if I don't have anything called as turn ons, then I'm going to put this low. But of course, Higher is helpful. The higher pitch speed is not helpful, my opinion. You know, everything here is on zero. We're going to go with the ADS yaw speed. And here's the trick. That's why I don't use this at all. Because we already have a high sense. ADS yaw speed is 210. ADS pitch speed is 140. Why is this high? Why is this low? Okay. So ADS yaw speed 210. Because we need the best tracking. At, like the best, best tracking. Because when you get used to the maximum. Or not maximum, but high ADS yaw speed. You'll make sure that your muscle memory is used to the very high speed. So when you have this high speed, the tracking is going to be very, very good. And your aim is going to have more advantages than most of the people. And you can use any gun with this sensitivity. So yeah, it's going to be hard at the start, but it's going to be very helpful. I promise you that. ADSP speed is the same as I explained right here. You don't need this at all to be higher because... The only reason we need a pitch speed is uh, for the recall. So if you if 140 can control the recall, then it's enough. Why do I need something higher? You can control the recall with 140. You don't need this higher at all. And that's it. MSS, of course, on. Melee target compensation on. I don't know why is this off. You should be having this on. Doesn't matter, honestly. Like you can use off or on. I don't care. Anyway, we're going to go with FOV. FOV guys, 55 brightness. Doesn't matter. 120 FOV, not 110. If you're on console, you can play it on 110, but if you're on PC, you can put this on 120. By going to the save data game, you can check on YouTube how to get 120 FOV in my videos. Just search locate 120 FOV and you will find it. Print view, manage, uh, fuel shake minimal, and here is disabled. And everything is on low. Here, enabled plus boost, and everything is on low. Even if you have a good PC, you have to put this on low because you need lower input lag. Doesn't matter what PC you have. All the settings, I don't really even need to talk about them because it doesn't matter because it's just your opinion. No one has my headset. I don't think anyone has uh, other people's head headset. So anyway, make sure these are low and make sure that these settings are on and voila, you will get one of the best aim settings on controller I ever tried in my life. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are the best settings in season 18. I hope you like these settings. You can try them out right now from the start of the season. And I hope it works all for you. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Whee!